Alrighty, I was a little bit rushed for time in the last video, so let's go ahead and go back over our store's game and what we have here with our structure. So we set the step to our choose white step, meaning it's time for people to play. And then we created our round, which has a black card and stacks. If stacks are hidden, they have a count. If they're not hidden, they have a card, a cards array. Uh, black cards will have an ID text set and a white card count. Stacks will have an ID, an account, or a cards array. And then for our player view, um, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I was so rushed for time. I did something, uh, I did something stupid in, um, uh, in the last, uh, last video and that is I added all of these cards to the stack not to the player's hand like I was intending to I hope you guys will forgive me for that um, that was just a small little mistake again rushed for time made a mistake stuff happens all right I'm just gonna move these guys over into the player hands you guys are probably thinking what is he doing um, however I will move over because our the the stack with an ID of two has one card in it I'm just going to grab one of these cards from my hand from random and plop it right into my stack. So my stack, my player stack that only I can see, has the cards revealed, whereas everybody else does not see the cards. And now what we can do is we can hop on over into Chrome and refresh and check this out. It says waiting for other players because we're not logged in. Oh, and we're not logged in and... Um, in addition, we're not currently playing uh, because we're, our, our is playing is set to false because uh, we are player one. Yes, we are player one. Our is playing is set to false and our is winner is true. Let's change our is playing to true and our is winner to false. So now if I come over here and reload, I can log in and it says choose your cards. And if I click on this, we say it says game status is active. So now we're actually playing the game. Oh, there's an error. Um, uh, key prop in chat. Oh, on my chat messages, I forgot to give them indexes. You guys probably already noticed that if you were paying attention to the, the console. But um, it's not it's not like a it's not a bug or an issue that's going to prevent us from doing anything. But it is definitely something that we should be aware of and not um, make React upset. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just going to implement the card component first. We're going to do the card component and the styles component, or in the styles for the card component. So right now we just have card here, and that's the black card, um, which is currently being set to some arbitrary data. Did something do something? So if we go into components and game and card, let's go ahead and implement this guy. It's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty straightforward. It's just a bunch of markup, really. Um, let's see here. So in the card, the most important thing we need to figure out are all the different classes that a card can have. So I'm going to say const classes equals array. And I'm going to say, I'm going to start off with C dash card for, it'll always have the C card class. The type, uh, is it a black card or is it a white card? Um, the card question mark front colon back. So if you pass in a, a not null card value, which will contain the data um, that you can see examples of in the game store. Um, that the black card has an ID text set and white card count, right? If you pass in a not null version of that, then it'll consider that card to be the front. It'll it'll style it as the front. If you pass in a um, a card uh, that is that is null, then it'll be the back of the card. Next up, we'll do style dash, and this is a template string, by the way, style dash style. So we'll be able to have additional CSS styles for different kinds of cards. We'll say can zoom, question mark, can zoom, otherwise blank. And then is selectable, question mark, is selectable, um, colon blank. Then I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write a, a, a anonymous function but I'm, or a function outside of our render function because this function is going to be a multi-line function and I don't want to muddy up our JSX with it. So I'm going to say const click equals anonymous function if not is selectable return otherwise on click card. 
So the click handler will say, if you're not selectable, do nothing. Otherwise, pass the card back to our parent. Then I'm going to return div class name equals classes dot join on space, followed by on double click equals click. Now on double click is a event added by React. It's not a native um, event in in HTML or CSS or whatever JavaScript in the DOM. It's something that's added on by React that we can take advantage of. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say not card question mark div class name is inner and I'm just going to do um, cards. So this is going to be the back of the card. Then for the front of the card, I'm going to do class name equals inner. And in, ugh, I don't know why that happened. And then inside of this, I'm going to say span class name equals text. The text is going to be simply card.text. Span, we'll do span class name is set. The set is going to be not surprisingly card.set. And then I'm going to say if not card white card count question mark null colon followed by a, um, a span of class name of white count. And then inside of this, I'm going to say pick and then I'm going to do an unclassed span card white card count. So like pick one or pick two or pick three or, and so on. And there we go. Now um, I just hit Control S and the um, and the component automatically updated. So it doesn't look like much because we haven't styled it yet. But if we look at the markup, we see that indeed, oh come on, we see indeed that we do have a C card black front style default, followed by inner, followed by text one ed, followed by white card count of pick three. So now let's go ahead and style this guy. I'm going to move them over here. You can take one last look at the JSX on card if you want to. And then we're going to jump in and we're going to style them. So jumping into card.scss, um, this is kind of going to be a long-ish thing. And the reason it's going to be kind of long-ish is because the um, we're going to be handling some cases that we won't be able to see or test yet, such as zooming. But I just want to get through this file and not deal with it again. So we're just going to do it all at once. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to import back, 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 back variables. Then I'm going to, um, I need to remind myself a variable name for the scale factor. Did I put that in here? Yes, card scale factor. I'm going to put that on my clipboard. Then I'm going to say C dash card. I'm going to say include user select none. So we can't select any of the text. Cursor is default. Display is inline block. Width is width card. Height is height card. Position is relative. Then I'm going to say dot black dot space dot inner. So if it's a black card, we're going to give it a background of, you guessed it, black and a color of white. Then if it's a white card, we're going to style inner to have a background of, guess what? White with the color of black. Then inside of inner, I'm going to give it a padding of 10 pixels, a box sizing of border box, a border radius of 5 pixels, a position of absolute, a top of 0, a left of 0, a width of 100%, a height of 100%, a box shadow of 2 pixels, 2 pixels, 3 pixels. So that's 2 pixels down, uh, or 2 pixels to the right, 2 pixels down, and then 3 pixels for its spread. Then we're going to do RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0.1, so it's going to be a very... Um, subtle effect. And then we're going to say transition is going to be a uh, box shadow, uh, 250 milliseconds linear. And then I'll hit control S. And now we see we have the card it's starting to look more and more like a card. Now let's go ahead and style the front. So I'm going to say front. You might be wondering why I'm doing this weird thing where I'm doing the position absolute top left and width and height and so on. That's because uh, we're also going to be implementing zoomable cards where if we mouse over them they zoom up but without taking any additional space in the uh, in the flow in the box model. So in the front I'm going to say font size is 15 pixels, word wrap is break word, but I'm also going to say overflow 
wrap is break word. Um, word wrap and overflow wrap do the exact same thing. The only difference is that uh, word wrap is an old IE specific um, property. And then overflow wrap is the new standardized property. But it's the same thing. And I'm going to provide both of them because why not? Then I'm going to style the set. I'm going to give it a position of absolute, a bottom of five pixels, a left of 10 pixels, and a font size of nine uh, pixels. So now our set appears at the bottom left corner. So I think that's pretty cool. Then we're going to style our white count, which will have a position of absolute, a right of 10 pixels, a bottom of five pixels, a font size of 12 pixels. And then we're going to style the span inside of it as a font weight of bold. So now it says pick three down at the bottom. So now it's really looking like a card. All right, now let's go ahead and style things that uh, we're not going to see examples of until later. But again, I just want to get rid of, uh, get this done with. So after styling the front, let's style the back. The back is going to be straightforward, a font weight of bold, and a font size of 18 pixels. Then we're going to do dot is selectable. Is selectable is going to have an inner, and it's going to have a different box shadow. It's going to have a box shadow of two pixels to the right, two down, three spread, with an RGBA of 0, 0, 0. 0.2. So that's black, but with 20% uh, uh, opacity. And then a cursor of pointer. Then I'm going to say, if it's active, meaning you clicked on it and it has focus, I'm going to give it a padding of 8 pixels, a border of 2 pixels solid color primary, and then I'm going to set the set to left of 8 pixels and bottom of 3 pixels. So when we click on it and select it, we're going to add a border around it, but we have to change the pack the padding and the location of the set. Otherwise, things will start to look weird. Um, then I'm going to say, and style dash small. Now, this is where our um, card scale factor comes in, the zooming comes in. We're going to say width is going to be width dash card times card scale factor. Height is going to be height dash card times card scale, scale factor. Then I'm going to set the inner to have a transform of scale of one and a transform origin of center with a transition of transform. Um, let's do 300 milliseconds and let's do my favorite cubic bezier. Then I'm going to say dot can dash zoom hover. So if we can zoom it and we hover over it, I'm going to set the overflow to visible, the Z index to 200 which I really should have variables for my Z ind indices. Um, it's kind of an oversight to not have that, but whatever. And then we'll set the inner to a transform of scale one over small scale factor, a Z index of, um, um, let's set the Z index to uh, 200 again, and then a box shadow of zero, zero, but with a 10 pixel um, spread of an RGBA 000 0.3. So this will give it the effect of kind of lifting up um, off the board. And that's our card. And I think I'm going to end this here. I'm going to scroll through the CSS one more time for you guys. I know you guys can cheat and look at the source code if you want to, but um, for you guys who are sticking with me and hanging out and following along, just in case you missed something, I'll scroll through that. And then I'll jump back over to card. Card again is very, very simple. It's, it's just a bunch of text. It's a prime candidate for a React component, right? It's self-contained. Um, we just give it a, a couple of bits of functionality, like can you zoom into it or is it selectable and so on, and allows us to reuse this, this card component all throughout this application. But, uh, but with that, I think that wraps this video up and we'll see you guys in the next one.